Lesson 9-6, Other Angles. So, so far we've covered central angles. These are angles from the center of the circle. And inscribed angles. These are angles from the circle itself. So now we have other angles. These are angles that do not start from the center or edge of the circle. There's only two circles we're going to cover today. Uh, two types of situations we're going to cover today. I'm not even going to bother reading the theorem. I'll just actually do an example. We've got our circle and we have a center. but We have two chords that don't actually bisect, uh, pardon me, that don't actually intersect the center of the circle. So we know that this is 60 degrees, this is 32 degrees. We know, want to know what angle 1 is. And while we're at it, I'd also like to know what angle 2 is. Well, angle 1 is not too hard. Take your arcs, 60 and 32, and find the average. Hopefully that made sense to you. And angle two should not be difficult, but a lot of people get lost deep in these problems. It's just 180 minus angle one. So just add them together, divide by two, or find the average. Here's two examples for you. I would pause the recording and try them before I do. And now I'll do them. 30 plus 40 over 2, 35 degrees. This one's a little bit of algebra. Or if you're smart enough, you can look at it and say, well, from here to here is 25, so from here to here has to be 25. And you say that must be 50. Either way. So that's it for the first part of the lesson. Now the second part. We go outside the circle. And we say that this arc is 12 degrees and this arc is 46 degrees. The measure of angle BAC, I could have just called it A, is the difference divided by 2. should get 17 degrees. Now there's two more examples below. You might want to pause it and try them on your, on your own. And now I'll do them. 
As you may or may not have noticed, life suddenly got a little bit more complicated. Measure of angle 1, 60 degrees. It's just 70 plus 50 over 2. Measure of angle 2, 70 minus 26 over 2. Twenty two degrees. Now we got some complicated looking problems here. We have to figure out what this arc is over here. So I gotta start labeling the heck out of my drawing. Sixty six plus something divided by two is a hundred. I'm gonna guess at hundred and thirty four. Then I'm gonna check it. looks good to me. So we want to find this arc in here now, BC. Well, we got 134 minus 40 over 2. We get 47 degrees. And since this is such a complicated problem, I'm going to label it. And then we also want to know what the arc BD is. Well, we already did that. 134 degrees. So it's a simple problem in terms of illustrating what's going on, but more to the point, starting to show you how complicated these can get. Uh, what is this angle here? What is this angle here? We can actually figure all that out. This one's 80 degrees. This one is 360 minus all the rest. This is a vertical angle, so this is 80 degrees, 100 degrees, and so on and so on. So you're going to have some fairly complicated problems based on these two simple concepts. That's it. Good luck.